How to start a YouTube channel lesson number four lesson number four all right guys welcome back here to the King Ellie show I'll be your host James as always we're gonna get to lesson number four on how to start your YouTube channel if you guys not watch lesson one two and three they're up on the channel go back and check them out but we're gonna get into lesson number four which will be plain and simple it's another simple lesson how to grow your channel now there are many different ways out there how to grow your channel guys there's many different ways you can go on Fiverr and pay somebody to grow your channel but then again are you getting real fans you know what I'm saying you're just getting bots to be on your channel like again you could have there's some people on YouTube they may have like say 50 50,000 subscribers right they have 50,000 subscribers but again how many of those 50,000 subscribers are real people you know what I'm saying how many of those are you can say the freaking 45 or 46,000 of them may be just be bots or just be no interaction. Look how many views they have on a certain video. Maybe like 200 views and you have 50,000 subs, you know what I'm saying? So there are many different ways. But I'm going to break it down to you guys in a plain and simple way. Again, this ties back into lesson number four, which would be consistency, which was for, um, I mean, it was lesson number three, consistency. Um, once you start to grow your channel, you're going to want to be consistent. Oh my gosh, later, I don't care about person right now um it ties into back in being once you're being consistency you go grow your channel you want to get those real followers and there's many different ways people again whatever your niche is for example let's say you're going to do a sports channel and the times you're living in right now it'll be hard to do a sports channel but let's say you had a sports channel and it was still active you're going to want to do what's popular say the last night um let's say the wizards were playing the warriors and the warriors came back from down like 25 points with four minutes to go you're going to want to cover that game because again it's going to be something popular the Warriors came back from 25 points down and they beat the wizards or if that was a football game let's say tom brady returns to new england and play the patriots you're going to want to cover that game because that's going to be popular um let's say you're doing a fitness channel and a new let's say a new company launches or let's say the rock is sponsoring a new fitness company you're going to want to cover whatever that new protein, whatever that new shake is that they're just making, or if you're covering a beauty channel, let's just say Kim Kardashian launches a new fragrance or a new, um, a new shirt or a new makeup, you're going to want to cover whatever is popular. So, well, let's just say you're covering, your channel is going to be mostly about um, superheroes. Um, a DC trailer comes out, you're going to want to react to that new DC trailer or a new Marvel trailer comes out. You don't want to react to that new Marvel trailer. Or you're covering a video game channel. The Last of Us 2 comes out. Or the Xbox Series X comes out. You're going to want to cover that. Uh, PS5 is about to come out. You're going to want to cover that. So there are many different ways to grow your channel. Um, the tip that me and my cousin did, again, we were a reaction channel. We always were looking in the trending. Uh, what's trending? You're going to want to cover what's trending if it's a reaction channel. You're going to be like, okay, that's trending. I'm going to do a reaction to that. You're going to want to cover whatever is popular. If you're doing a reaction channel but there are many different ways um what helped us out when we first started was key key lesson three is the key is a key to lesson four consistency ties into you growing your channel um you being consistent every single day will tie into your channel growth again you go and pay somebody on fiverr let's say you're gonna they say oh you give me a hundred bucks i'll give you eighty thousand subscribers i'll back onto your channel or if you give me uh, another fifty dollars i'll give you another 50,000 views on your channel. Again, you can go ahead and do that, but at the end, when you look at your reaction and your gauges, are you gonna be, let's say, if you're, you're, let's say you're in there for the money. If you're buying 100,000 subscribers and they don't watch your videos, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of be like you wasted 100 bucks. Yeah, you got 100,000 subscribers, but then nobody's watching your videos. You know what I'm saying? So, that would be key. Another key that I was looking at would be, say, if you wanna partner, partner up with somebody. And maybe somebody you know is really famous on YouTube and you uh, go on their show or they come on your show and they may shoot you. May, maybe this them being on your show will give you uh, 9,000 subscribers. Or you partner up with them, maybe they'll give you, by even just liking a video. If somebody's famous that you know likes a video, that could be like, oh, they're like, oh, this guy just liked this video. Let me go to this person's channel. That may give you 2,000 
2,000 views or 2,000 subscribers by them just liking that. So another key would be maybe just to partner up with somebody. Partnering up can never hurt. Um, as you guys know, I'm independent here, man. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But partnering up would be another help that could help you out is partnering up. So you never know. Um, that will be lesson number four, people, is how to grow your channel. I would say stick to whatever you're doing. If your niche is reaction, you never, again, it's a slow process here on YouTube. I mean, some or or you maybe maybe just for you whatever you're doing or how you're doing your reaction videos, maybe like something like, you know, they might catch on. But I would say stick to whatever your niche is. Don't go out there and paying for it. I mean, if you want to pay for views, you can go ahead and pay for views. If you want to pay for um, subscribers, you can pay for subscribers. It's up to you. But I'm just giving you a, um, giving you a heads up. I would say just stick to what you're doing. You never know, people. Just stick to whatever your niche is. If it's gaming, if it's fitness, if it's beauty, um, if it's reactions, if it's fitness, just stick to it, and you never know, man. Again, it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> Even though you can say some people it happened overnight, you can say for some people it happened overnight. But I'll say stick to the process. I mean, like LeBron always says, man, you got to see I'm wearing this jersey. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Again, you can get there in a sprint if you want to, but to go through the lessons, to go through the um, the tips, it's a marathon. Again, you know, just never know, people. Um, that'll be lesson number four. Lesson number, lesson number five will be back here tomorrow. If you like the video, comment down below. Subscribe. I'll be back here for you guys for lesson number five tomorrow.